live. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and record that. Okay. Hello, hello, everyone. This is Christy with Planted Places, and I've got Robin, Happy Food Chef, with me. Hello. <laughs> We're back at it. It's February. I can't believe it's already February. And uh, yeah. Yeah, we're just kind of doing this like sneak peek, go live thing right now because um, it is the first week of February. And as most of our Planet Places members know, we have started something new this year. We're doing a Get Your Greens Challenge. Every single month, we are going to pick some type of food. Last month, it was smoothie. And this month, drum roll, it is soup. Soup challenge. Because what do you do in February when it's cold? You bundle up right next to a fire and you have soup. <laughs> so it's very perfect. And so what we wanted to do now, I, I was laughing last time, last month we did a challenge and every morning I went live talking about the smoothie that we were doing that day. And I, I told the team, I can't make smooth a soup every single night. <laughs> Like uh, in one week, we're going to do one a week, one, one night a week this month, you guys, we're going to go live and we're going to, I'm going to show you kind of what I did and we're going to do it Thursdays at 530, Thursdays at 530. So tomorrow I'm going to be doing that. And it's just going to be a quick live like I did last time. And I'm just going to show you what I did. And I'm going to tell you about what worked, what didn't and some tips. But before I even dare to do this, I had to bring Robin on with me because I love to kick these off with her. And I love to go get some, I need to get some advice about how to think about it. Because remember the whole reason why we do this, this is all about how can we get nutrient dense leafy greens that we are growing in living soil in our walls and in our containers. How can we get that into our food and make sure that we're getting that nutrition? Um, we spend such great care on growing the food and now we wanna make sure we're consuming it. So um, that's why you're here, Robin, <laughs> for a lot of other reasons too, but specifically, let's talk soup. So um, I know you have a lot of thoughts about it. So let me know what, how I should be thinking about this. Okay, well, um, obviously one of the big concerns is how do we keep the nutrients? Um, and I know a lot of you are growing microgreens, um, all of your, your spinaches, your cilantro, your parsley's. Um, your bok choys, all of the greens that you're growing. So there's a few different things. One is you don't ha actually have to actually cook them for a long period in your soup. Okay. So a soup always has some sort of like, what is the base of your soup? Is it going to be a broth soup or is it going to be more of a stew? Is it going to be a pureed soup, whatever? Um, and I have certain things, at least when I start to do soups, there are certain basics that I like to have in almost all my soups. And what are they? They're some sort of onion. Okay. That's no kind, but something from the onion family. Okay. There's, and, and that even, that includes things like garlic and shallots, mm -hmm. you know, those kinds of things that are in there um, that are going to go in your base then you're going to have also celery, 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 celery. Celery is high water content. It's good salt. It's just, and it's beautiful because you have a choice. Do you want it chopped up really fine or do you want it chunked? You have your carrots, another basic in my soups. Why? Because you're going to be balancing again that sweet and salt. Mm, okay. Well, and I got to ask something, because that's interesting. You said celery, you're getting the salt. So that actually sounds like a, a, a real natural way to get sodium and get the oh. salt taste in there without adding a bunch of, okay, okay, good to know. People who have issues with sodium, mm -hmm. if you want to have more salt flavor in your soup and you don't want to add any salt, lots of celery. Okay, okay. Yep. Love to know. So, okay. Yes. I learned so something. Some of the base and then there are some you know even celery root there are some things that just really are great to have you know depending on what you want to do whether it's a broth soup or a puree and a lot of times what i'll do is i want something in between so i have my immersion thing or a vitamix and if i start to make a pot with let's say my onions carrots and celery with water okay okay and I'll, I'll start with that and get that cooking. 
And then of course, for those people who want some sort of an animal, I'll take, I may take a bone. I'll take a bone, whether it's, you know, because you can make a chicken soup, you can make a, a where you take a beautiful ham hock, a smoked ham hock bone, throw it in your soup with the carrot, celery and onions, and you've got a beautiful beginning of a stock. So then what I do is on your greens, let's say you know your kale is, is much tougher. So that, I don't mind taking my kale and actually then putting it in my soup and cooking it down. And so I'm getting my fiber. It, it's all gonna cook really well. But my delicate greens, okay, if I, I don't want to necessarily cook them for hours, or even an like your parsley or your cilantro. Your parsley, cilantro. And I'll tell yeah. you a beautiful thing is you're, you're all growing microgreens. So here's mm -hmm. what I would, I would start my soup and then depending on, and, and then what other vegetables. So if I, I love string beans, chopped up string beans, broccoli, um, sometimes cauliflower, whatever other vegetables you want to put in there, depending what you're doing. And then you decide, am I creaming it? Am I not? And then you're, there's the whole world of the tomato bases. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we could spend a month on soups, all different discussions. And, we, and we'll do some recipe stuff later. Absolutely. Uh, but those are the decisions. And then here's what you do with the greens. Your delicate greens, you're going to put in at the last minute. Mm -hmm. And they're just going to wilt down, cook a little bit, and then you serve it. Now, okay. here's... Right. I have to ask a question. Okay. I got to ask a question real quick here, Robin. So now yeah. you always hear about, I don't want to lose the nutrient. Um, yeah, I don't want to lose the, um, you know, kind of the, the nutrient value in my, my food. And if I cook it too long, does that get bleached out? What happens there? What is that an old wife's tale? What, what's going on with that? There is, look, at this point, <laughs> the fact that you're going down this road, you're a whole lot better off than when you were buying that canned soup. Okay. Okay. okay? Yep. So we're way again. You know, look, when it comes to preparing food and health, there are so many levels. And this is really, it's a whole other discussion we'll have mm -hmm. about where, where are you going to be in this matrix of trying to find a balance because it's all about balance. Yeah. And so yeah. you're going to do different things at different times. And so we will, over the months, discuss all of this so that you can really figure out what's right for you and your family. And right. depending on the day, who's coming to dinner, oh, there's so many factors. But I wanted to, but so what I do, and here's another little trick that I do. So let's say I start my soup, I have my basic soup, and I want to get my greens. But and and even if it's romaine lettuce, right? Okay. Even if it's romaine. So here's what I do. Growing a lot of romaine right now. <laughs> okay. Right. So here's what I do. I actually prepare a salad. Okay. So now I've got my cooked stuff that I'm doing for my soup. Mm -hmm. And I take I cut up in my bowl because I want to get as many greens in my body as possible, right? How am I gonna do this? but I don't want to eat a raw salad. Oh, oh okay. Right? We're going. Going. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> so this is what I do. Yeah. I chop up my romaine, chop it up fine, or however you want it, but not big leaves. I chop it up, put it in a bowl. I put in my bowl, um, even if I want, let's say I want to mix some raw, I'm cooking up carrots, but I want some raw carrots. Whatever it is. Okay. that you want to throw or peppers. I want to throw in stuff that is, or green onions at the last minute or fresh onions. I've got cooked and raw mix. You make your salad, put that in the base of your bowl. Okay. And at the last minute, you then pour your hot soup over your salad. Wow. I never, ever would have thought of that. Interesting. Right. No, okay. There's no dressing. Interest. Okay. You know what, Robin, we're going to do that. We're going to do that this month. Okay. You and I, we're going to go offline. We're going to, we're going to put together a recipe for that. We're going to do that. I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let's go because I know we've been on probably longer than a gorgeous stew. I take that stew. I don't dress my salad. I just pour it over my raw salad. So now wow. I have a whammy. Yes. 
Okay, hey. that, I've never ever heard of that, and, and that's then, fascinating. For garden, then on top of that soup, yep. you throw your microgreens. Put your microgreens, of course. On top. On top. on top. on top. So they're the last thing to go in, and okay. then you stir the whole thing up, and you've kept all the nutrition. Oh, I love that. Okay, that we are for sure doing bok that. With you. And your bok choy. So if you want to cook, so you know your bok choy stems are harder. The harder and tougher the greens, throw those in the soup and cook them. So like the Swiss chard, your Swiss chard stems, same thing. Yep. You take the hardest part and then you keep the tops, mm -hmm. which are your leaf, and you chop those up fine. Okay. And you sprinkle the, you can put that in the bottom of your dish. Let's say you don't make a salad, but you take those chopped greens, the top parts, the stems get cooked okay. because they're tougher and you want them. You're still getting the fiber because mm -hmm. you need all that fiber, but it's cooked. So it's easier to digest. Right. Okay? And you take the tops of the greens, chop those up small and throw the, put that in the bottom of your dish, throw your soup on top, mix it in. It's going to cook now down, wilt down. We call it wilting. Okay. And then you throw your microgreens on top. I love that. Okay. We are doing that. We are going to do that. Everybody know, I think maybe third week of this month or so, we will do that one. I love that one. <laughs> because I've never even thought of that. And I just think, and that's exactly why we're doing this is because I want to get, and our members want to get everybody to keep asking us, ideas, unique, creative ways to actually consume our leafy greens, the food that Look, we, you know. I get how much you're getting when you do something like that. And oh. I do the time. And then what I throw in on top of it to make it a one bowl that yes. has, so I always in my refrigerator, okay. always, 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 I have a grain cooked oh. up. And okay. I happen to love farro. I just love farro, mm -hmm. right? But it matter what it is yeah okay. so I take my grain put that in the you know either heat it up a little bit just warm it up yep or if I don't want it that warm depending on what the temperature is and how I feel I just throw it on top let's say I have the 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 tops of the greens chopped up put the farro or the grain on top of it okay. pour my soup over it and you've got a beautiful nutrition and then you put your microgreens on top with little bits of seeds and nuts so you got your protein you have a full meal in a bowl but it's a soup based meal. wow hot warming you don't have to have any other side dishes ah oh, i love that and it actually sounds easy it's, <laughs> yeah, it's just sort of key for me uh -huh. <laughs> also what's really great is you can have some of this stuff if you like what i know I'll do sometimes is I will take a lot of vegetables and I know I want to just get some prepping done and I know I'm going to be short for time. So I prep my carrots, my onions, my celery, get those three basics prepped up and ready to go. Right. And, and can you keep those if you chop those up and you just put you those keep here? Them they are absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, again, levels. Tonight, you're doing that, getting ready for the week, went busy week. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. all lit. It depends on how you want, what, what's going to work for you. Yep, exactly, exactly. Very good. Love that. Thank you, Robin. Thank you so much. So great. And we're going to, like I said, we are going to try that. And I did want to tell people too, that tomorrow, you know, is our first night for the soup challenge. And we're going to, we're kind of doing a quick, you know, I would like to call it more of like a life hack. We're doing a quick one tomorrow because we didn't give you guys a lot of time i'll be honest in terms of us doing this so what we're doing it's it's going to be a um, this is kind of actually one of our staff favorites we literally are going to be having three ingredients okay these are actually from trader joe's this is the tomato roasted red pepper soup we've got chimichurri rice and then we have this yummy um zog sauce which is kind of like a cilantro pepper um, you know, kind of um, sauce dip. And so what we're gonna do is that's gonna be the base. And then we're gonna be adding a lot of leafy greens into that. And that's gonna be just a very easy, quick soup with a yummy crusty bread. That's gonna be an easy soup because we wanted to make it easy the first week. But we do plan to give you guys, what are we cooking next week? We're gonna tell you that the week before. So you got the weekend to get your ingredients 
and get ready to go. All right. Awesome. Very good. Thank you so much, Robin. I love you. That. All right. Stay warm. And we will be, and then my last final thing that I wanted to tell people too, is that we're going to be doing this every Tuesday, you and I, uh, or just you, <laughs> depending Whatever. on what's happening, we're going to feature, we're going to feature Robin Happy Food Chef, and we're going to feature different topics each time. And they're just going to be quick 10, 15 minute snippets. And um, I know you're going to be doing a really cool Valentine kind of chocolate dessert, right? Yes. This month. Very, yeah, easy, we're very easy. Easy one. Okay, and we're going to be doing that one next week so people can do it in time for Valentine's Day. So we're going to do that one next week. So I'm very excited about that. And then we're also going to be, so everybody look at your emails because we're going to be featuring, we want to feature your questions, all of your questions around nutrition and food, herbal, you know, herb, leafy greens, anything you can think of. We want to, we want you to send the questions in and then Robin is going to be answering those for us. And we're going to be doing that. We'll be featuring that like one time a month, we'll go deep on those questions. So, um, so I'm excited for everything that we've got coming up. All right. Great. Thank you so much. And everybody. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Christy and have fun everybody with your soups. <laughs> Bye everybody. Bye-bye.